Hi, friend. Welcome back. We're here to talk about our second step lesson, our poem, our amazing words, and talk about our letter sounds. Let's get ready to read. But before we begin, let's remind ourselves of the problem-solving steps and sing our problem-solving song to get ready to focus. If I'm stuck and in trouble and I don't know what to do, there are four problem-solving steps that always help me through. Number one, it's the yes step. What is the problem? Number two, it's the D step. D, solution. What can we do? Number three, it's the E step. E, explore consequences. What might happen? Number four, it's the P step. P, pick the best solution. What will work the best? Help me through, cause I am a problem solver. I am a problem solver. I am a problem solver. I say I am a problem solver. I am a problem solver. I am a Good job. Now on to our poem, Jack and Cat. Jack and Cat race up the hill to burn some crazy rubber. Jack zoomed down right through truck town and Cat came scraping after. So let's focus our attention on our characters today. Who are the characters? That's right, Jack and Cat. Let's listen for rhyming words. I will reread the poem. Have your ears listening to identify the rhyming words. Jack and Cat raced up the hill to burn some crazy rubber. Jack zoomed down right through truck town and Cat came scraping after. Tell me the rhyming words you identified. Right, down and truck town. Well done. Friends, we're still thinking and reading about how people and things get from here to there. And our question this week is how do people in different parts of the world travel? Let's take a look at our video to learn more about this question. How do people in different parts of the world travel? It depends where they live. My cousin lives in London and she rides a double-decker bus. How people travel does depend on where they live and where they need to go. In rural areas, in some parts of the world, people use animals, like horses and llamas, to get from place to place. In wet places, near rivers and oceans, people use kayaks, canoes, and other boats to get in and out of ports. And in cold, snowy regions, people use dog sleds to travel lightly and quickly over the snow. Sailors use submarines to travel underwater. They have to use a special tool called a periscope to see outside because a submarine has no windows. This week, you will learn how people travel in many different ways in different parts of the world. How do you think people in different parts of the world travel? Our amazing words this week, say them after I say them. Submarine? double-decker bus, dog sled, kayak, llama, and travel. Today, we're going to listen for the words kayak and travel. So as you listen and sing along to our Amazing Words song, 
When you hear the word kayak or travel, clap your hands. Ears listening. Do you travel to and fro to get where you want to go? Can you drive a big car or a boat you row? Can you climb up on a llama and go real slow? How do you go? Do you travel to and fro to get where you want to go? Can you paddle in a kayak with the waves high and low? Can you drive a big dog sleigh ride through the blinding snow? How do you, do you travel to and fro to get where you want to go? Can you travel in a submarine in the undertow? Will you ride a double-decker bus to the big show? How do you go? Well done, friends. Now, on to our new amazing word, travel. When we travel, we go from one place to another. What is our new amazing word that means to go from place to place? Say it with me, travel. When we travel, we usually go to a place that is far from home. What places would you like to travel to? Kayak. A kayak is a small boat that looks like a closed canoe, has a small opening in the center where a person sits. What is our new amazing word for a small closed canoe with an opening in the center? Say it with me, kayak. You can paddle a kayak to get from place to place in the water. Have you ever seen a kayak? Here is your ear listening test. People can use a blank to travel in the water. People can use a blank to travel in the water. If you said kayak, give yourself a silent cheer. Well done. I like to blank by car when I go to visit my aunt. I like to blank by car when I go to visit my aunt. If you said travel, give your brain a kiss. Well done, friends. Let's get ready to read and review our sound. This week, we're focusing on the sound of letter V. V is a volcano. V, V, V. And letter Z. Z as in zigzag. Z, Z, Z. Friends, I have a picture of a V, S, T, V, S. In Spanish, it's a chaleco. What sound does vest begin with? Mm-hmm. I have two words here. Mm-hmm. Now your turn to read them. Well done. What sound do you hear in the beginning of the word vet and vel? Mm-hmm. Next, we have a picture of a zebra. Zebra. What do you hear at the beginning of the word zebra? Z, z, z. I have three words here. Let's sound them out and read them. Z, a, p, zap. Z, i, p, zip. Z, s, t, zest. What do you hear at the beginning of these three words? Z, z. So let's focus our attention again on our picture. Yesterday we found a z z van. We looked at the setting, which is in a z zoo. We also found some z z vegetables. Let's see what else we can find today that has our two sounds. Eyes watching. So there is a girl here on her scooter. Sometimes when you go really fast on your scooter, you can call it zipping by. She is zipping by. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see this girl. She's walking with her grown-up. She has a pattern on her shirt. 
you see what pattern she has on her shirt? That's right, a zigzag. Well done. Now for our ears listening, I'm going to say a word. Tell me the three sounds you hear in the word. Zap. Z-a-p. Well done. Zip. Z-i-p. Zip. Van. V-a-n. Vest. V-a-s-t. Vest. The last sound is S and T together. Well done, friends. So remember, this week we're focusing on two sounds. Tell me the two sounds we're focusing on this week. That's right. Now let's review our letters so that we are ready to read today. Show and tell me this letter, please. T. I. P. E, A, C, S. So we're blending today. We're blending words that have the th sound and words that have the z sound. Eyes watching. Let's get started. Z, a, n, van. Z, a, t, vest. Z, i, p, zip. Mm, ah, p, zap. Eyes watching, let's blend the words we see. Starting with v, a, n, van. V, a, u, val. V, a, t, that. Do the next two by yourself. Good job, you read the word zip and zap. Next, let's look at our new sight words. In the blue rectangle, we have the word where. Where. Remember, make like a D and then lean it back a little bit and wave it back and forth. Where. How do we spell where? W-H-E-R-E. -E. Next, in the purple rectangle, we have the word Come, come. How do we spell the word come? C-O-M-E. That's right. Show me the word where. Show me the word come. Let's read our sentences. I noticed the first sentence ends with a question mark. When we read a question mark, our voice changes tone at the end, goes so up at the end. Let's practice number one. Where is Zach? Now you. Number two ends with a period, so our tone stays the same. He will come in a van. Your turn. Number three ends with a period, so our tone will stay the same. Me first, then you. Val cannot come. Can you name some sight words you see in our sentences today? Well done, friends. Let's continue blending. Arm out, eyes watching. V, a, u, val. V, a, t, that. V, i, p, zip. And Ellis, we're here to go over our unit five sight words. We're going to say the word, spell the word, and show the word. Let's get started. Yellow, Y-E-L-L-O, yellow. Said, S-A-I-D, said. Blue, B-L-U-E, blue. Was, W-A-S, was. Green. G-R-E-E-N, green. What? W-H-A-T, what? Where? W-H-E-R-E, -E, where? Come, C-O-M-E, come. To, 
the number T W O two. The T H E the from F R O M from me M E me my M Y my here H E R E here go G O go R fold your hands R A R E R is I S is do d o do three the number t h r e e three we w e we they t h e y they you y o u you he h e he That T H A T that little L I T T L E little five the number F I V E five four F O R four I capital I always she s h e she for the number f o u r for two t o two am a m am of o f of look L O O K look A like L I K E like with my fingers are with each other W I T H with one the number O N E one C S E E C have H A V E have. Great job. Thank you for being here and practicing all of our sight words. If you need extra practice with any of your words, take out a piece of paper and write each of your sight words five times each. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Thanks for being here. Adios. Friends, let's review something called compound words. Compound words are two words that work together to make a new word. I was watching our picture. I see a dog plus sled. Dog sled. Dog sled. Next, I see rain and coat. Rain plus coat. Rain coat. Rain coat. At the bottom, I see mail plus box, mail, box, mailbox. Can you reread them again on your own? Well done. Last week we talked about nouns. Nouns are important words that name people, animals, places, and things. Let's rewatch our video now to remember what is a noun. Nouns name each animal. Person, thing, or any place. Some start with capital letters, but most nouns start with lower case. Nouns name the things you wear. T-shirts, sandals, shorts, and hats. Nouns name the things you share. Funny jokes and baseball bats. Nouns name our favorite pets. Fido, Fluffy, Goldie, Rex. Nouns name our families. 
Uncle Ralph and Aunt Louise, a seesaw and a jungle gym. Things for her and things for him. Each animal, person, thing, or place is a noun in every case. Good listening, friends. I was watching our pictures. Tell me which picture names an animal. That's right, alligator or crocodile is a noun. It names an animal. Tell me which picture is a thing. That's right, a box is a noun that names a thing. Tell me which picture is a person. That's right, Miss Ornelas is a noun, the name of a person. Last, tell me which word is a place. Yes, home is a noun that names a place. Well done. Let's talk about well done, friends. Thank you for focusing your attention. Stay healthy, helpful, and calm. See you soon.